So we've already talked about the Aperture MC Pro Kit on my channel, but there's a reason why I've got a second one in my studio now. I recently learned that the Aperture MC Pro can double as a CRMX receiver. You can actually control third-party lights so you don't have to buy a whole bunch of CRMX receivers, which I think is fantastic. Aperture recently just came out with their little bubble diffuser, which is a $30 accessory for the your MC Pro, which has already been out for a while. But I think it adds a lot of utility to the MC Pros. This little bubble diffuser has about the equivalent surface area of four or five of the standard diffusers that come with the MC Pros. So you get a light that's four times softer from the same source. So if you're actually using this as a key light or something, you can get more soft shadows with this diffuser. Even though it only costs 30 bucks, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break. It feels well made. It attaches really easily and it comes with this little piece of grip you can use to attach the MC Pro to different types of mounting equipment. I really like that the bubble diffuser looks more like a realistic, natural, practical light that you might find somewhere because it's circular. It's not that kind of, uh, this is clearly uh, you know, an MC Pro filmmaking light. I just feel like the circular dome shape is a lot easier to hide and use in frame if you're actually using it to light stuff. And if you haven't already seen my review on the MC Pro kit, you should go check it out because I go over pretty much everything that I really like about them. So today I'm gonna to solve a problem that I've had. I like to use these lights in my background and how I get them mounted to the paper backdrop is I kind of sandwich the paper backdrop between one of these little metal shims that come with the MC Pro, stick it on there and drag it around. like that, but it's kind of really annoying to do it. It's to the point where I don't want to reset up this background every single time I'm trying to make a video. And I know that there's a little adhesive that you can peel off of these little metal shims and just stick them to the walls or whatever. But I feel like once you do that, then this piece becomes disposable because I would, you know, whenever I tear that backdrop down that this would go away with it because the adhesive, you know, it only works one time. So I never use these things because then I won't have them anymore, even though it's like, you know, probably worth pennies. So I called my friend Dave at Grip Tips and he told me to use some of those little metal flashings like they use for building stuff. And I went to my, this could be useful pile of crap in the garage and I found some little pieces of scrap metal from projects and things that I've built over the years. But like the paint chips off and don't really like the way that these look. I don't like the sound that they make when they touch things and I don't want to scratch my walls with them. So what I'm gonna do is cover these in gaff tape. Yeah, like this. Yeah, that'll work. So now I'll just tape these up behind my backdrop. One down, but the idea is now I'll have metal that's just kind of there. So I can quickly and easily attach those lights to my paper backdrop. And these large pieces of bright orange metal are a lot easier to reclaim and reuse for me than these tiny little, you know, disposable shims. All right, so that piece is now done. Now when one of these lights dies, so I usually have one of these kits up here and it's plugged in and turned on over there. So when one of these lights dies now, swapping it out is a super quick process. Now that may not seem like a big deal to some people, but it's gonna speed up my process and it's gonna make me wanna use these lights more. It's gonna make my videos look better. Um, and I'll get more done faster. And any little optimization that I can make in this studio, I wanna do. And if you're wondering how I control this kit, it's usually with this. This is the XLX Control 1. I actually have this being powered by the 600C Pro, so anytime I turn this on, this is then powered. So I'll just pick MC Pro, and then I will adjust these to do whatever I want them to do. It's really easy to control what color I want coming out of these lights. I'll go with that right there. And if I turn this on, it's gonna automatically connect to the DMX channel here because I've already paired it. So it's producing the same light. But if I just wanna make this a real quick uh, bright white light, 
It's really easy to swap out to whatever you want, you know, to use the manual settings. If you wanna use the special effects or you just want a white light. I've been using the MC Pro quite a lot uh, in a lot of my videos because I've been reviewing these heavy portable generators like in my garage and in situations where I can't be in my already very well lit studio. Uh, they're really easy to set up and configure to the right way you want your light to look. It's just a really highly useful tool and I've been using them a lot even though I'm not doing filmmaking content. Knowing what I know, I don't want my videos to look like crap. I want to do a better job than the bare minimum. And these, the Aperture MC Pro really makes it easy to do that. And now with the bubble diffuser, I have a much better, softer key light that I can use along with the other, you know, diffusers and accessories that come with it. Let's see, maybe if you take one of these, uh, one of these guys, you screw it into the back of the new little mount that comes with the bubble diffuser, boom, and then you take a magnet. Now look at that, this magnet will stick anywhere. It can be a nice practical dome light. How cool is that? The dome's durable, you're not gonna have to worry about breaking it. <laughs> I think everybody should always have plenty of super clamps and magic arms around. Super Clamp MC Pro Bubble Diffuser is a fantastic way to get a light where you might not be able to otherwise. Yeah, let's turn everything else off and just use the MC Pros for light. Okay, we got some work to do. Okay, I can demo the difference between this one. It's still soft, but not super soft. Now let's put that bubble diffuser on there. A little bit softer. Maybe right about there. I need some fill light over here. So let's take another one. Maybe make it a little bit warmer. My face is slightly oily. Let's get some color going. There, that is without. And then there is with it. We don't really need it for that. Let's get another one out there. And this one we're gonna go with a nice blue. So here, here's where you can see the value of having that diffusion. So you can see there's, what I have is some wires are over the light and you can see that kind of weird striping uh, behind me that's moving around. You can see the LED pattern that's kind of shining through. So if you put it right there, you can see their crazy shadows, but if you use the diffusion, those shadows are gone. You still kind of see that shadow. But if we were using the, or the bubble diffuser, uh, it's even less noticeable, it's completely gone. So if you're using the MC Pro 8 light kit as your production lighting kit or whatever you're using as a creator or ha however you're using these lights, having more cheap tools available to make them more useful is always a good idea. I do hope that they develop a case that lets you carry several bubble diffusers easily because right now, I mean, there's not really a super simple way to, you know, move a bunch of these around other than just kind of bundling them up into your backpack and just kind of letting them roll around. And right now I'm only using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, right now for this lighting setup, I'm using eight MC Pros. So an entire eight light kit. We've got two in the background. We've got four behind me. We've got one key light and then I've got my fill light. So that's an MC Pro eight light kit lighting setup. And I think it looks really good actually. So now that I have two of the eight light kits, if I was using this setup to make a video and all of my lights died, I could real quickly and easily swap these out with the ones that were on the charger. Good job Aperture on the new bubble diffuser. I think it's a fantastic addition to an already great set of tools that you've made. So I've reviewed a lot of lights and I would have to say that the light that I use the most often is the MC Pro. So good job Aperture on that. So if you wanna pick up the Aperture MC Pro or the eight light kit or just the bubble diffuser for your already existing MC Pro. Uh, there's a link to where you can find it in the description of this video. Every time I try to tell myself I'm gonna stop making videos about lights, Aperture comes out with some new cool stuff and I just, I can't not talk about it. So thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. I'm sure there's gonna be more videos like this one in the future. Oh, and uh, if you noticed, honorable mention to the Spotlight Max from Aperture. We'll be talking about this real soon and it is a fantastic piece of optical equipment for your lighting. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.